All right, how's it going, Lila's parents? Um, this is video is based on the homework. Today is October 28, 2020. I've had Lila for three days, and uh, she's learned a lot, uh, more than I expected for a five-month-old Doberman. Maybe that's expected of a European Doberman. I think this is just a special case. Um, so Lila's going back because even though she's potty trained at home, it's more of a structural training. So what I need is that Lila to learn that um, potty training has a verbal cue like go potty um, once we can get her to go potty um, verbally then she may actually when she does go potty you say go potty you say yes and give a reward then every time we take her out there'll be a, a separation a difference between uh, walking her healing uh, leisurely walking her uh, and healing and actually going re getting released to go potty so that is kind of important because we want to be able to have a structured form of walking but if they need to go potty we need to have we need to inform them that it's okay to break that structured walking by saying a release command like go potty so there's that and once we get that done then um, just a few things because Leela's at five months she's going to be teething so we have to limit um, bite work for a little while and when the bleeding stops um, make sure she has like a puppy chew bone that's too large for her to swallow but uh, good enough for her to satiate her her um, irritability um, I, I like to use an iced uh, sock uh, just get in a nice clean old sock and um, wring out the extra water and then put it in the freezer and it'll be nice on the gums um, using the word no limit it to maybe two times a day when the dog gets older um, and established i rarely ever say no mm -hmm. you know, i'll say no maybe please. three times a week but as a puppy they're always doing something wrong so we need to make sure that the no has meaning just like saying i love you every five minutes it loses meaning so you only say it when it's necessary and if we know for a fact that leela actually knows what she's doing if she doesn't then i usually give a minor negative like ah or something like that you'll hear it in the videos um, what she has been practicing is the luring technique where she follows my hand, she understands to follow the finger. She's getting really good at it. Usually they just keep staying their muzzle in the cup of my hand, but she's starting to just follow my hand, which is perfect. Um, the cues that you need to know so you can practice at home is yes. I'll say yes. Make it nice and bright with an extended S so she knows that she made a positive, did something positive. Yes. Now, yes also means it's a release. So she says, if she sits and she stays there for a long time and I say, yes, I want her to just come to me afterwards as a positive release. Um, if I want her to sit and I want to let her know she's doing something positive, I'll say good, a nice steady good. Good means that is positive, yes. but it's not a release. Um, and uh, if she's doing good something girl. that is expected of her good and mark. you want her to release, yeah, I can say, okay, like um, structurally, I like to do the threshold of the door. She's never allowed to just run out the door because that can get, um, it's just a bad habit for dogs. Eventually, um, okay. as they get older, it's not that important if the dog knows what's right and what's wrong. But in, imagine a puppy, if you open a door and they're so used to running out and they see something and they just run straight out into the middle of the street. So it's important for me to have the dog understand um, threshold barriers. So when I open that door, she's not allowed to run out. I would block her with my leg until I say something like, okay, because it's an expectation. If I say, if I open the door and I, and I tell her to sit, then I'll say good and I'll give her a treat and she should stay there. And you know, in the beginning, maybe I'll say yes as a release and we'll go outside. But I need to make sure that I make the first step. Um, this is, I know it sounds a little too uh, totalitarian, but it's very effective and it creates a, pot, a really good, nice structure when as they're a puppy. Um, also, a very common mistake uh, owners do is use their name with a no. So I try to um, be cognitive of when, whenever you say something like Lila because she did something wrong. Make sure it's going to be a ah or it's a, it's a definitive no. There is no Lila unless it's going to be a recall. If you want her attention for something positive, we say her name. But if it's something negative, we don't say her name because we want to make sure her name is always used as a positive tone. The recall is strengthened passively that way. Also, um, so upcoming sessions, we've already learned how to um, spin, weave, actually spin only one direction, uh, weave and stay and uh, 
and heal, kind of. So we're going to perfect it. We're going to have the spin spin one way and the spin the other way. Our hand gestures are going to lessen and lessen. The heel is going to get tighter and tighter to the left side. Right now it's really sloppy. Um, the weave should be faster. Expe there's an expectation for it to go through one leg and the other immediately after. You can go back and forth over and over again. Dogs love doing this. And the stay is always going to be um, something that never gets perfected. Um, you'll see uh, trainers showing off that their dog is uh, three houses down and and that's it. A short video of a stay is already one of the most difficult to um, to perfect. To uh, yeah, to perfect. And um, after that, uh, one thing she hasn't learned is to go down, and that's fine because a lot of times we get the dog to sit and then we get them to go down. We want uh, Leela to learn the canine down. That involves her to how know how to mark first. Um, mark as in get her front feet on top of a platform and understand that those feet those paws stay on the platform when they go down so that way if you have a dog that sits and goes down sits and goes down they're going to slowly start creeping forward and forward we, we don't want that we want her to stay on a mark and every time move her butt down with her legs and come back up down up down so it's a it's it's harder to learn but it's um it's something that only the most trained dogs understand and we're gonna we're gonna approach her uh, training in that aspect. Okay, I hope that helps. Um, let me know if you have any questions and hope to see her again soon. All right, bye.